Hey everybody and welcome to a brand new episode, 12 of my favorite live albums and today one of my favorites of all and one of my favorite stars, Eartha May Kit, the incomparable Eartha Kit live in person at the Plaza and this is an album that I absolutely adore. I discovered Eartha Kit like many people um, through her disco revival. Well it was past disco in 1983 with Where Is My Man produced and written by Jacques Morali who is a French author artist, the one who produced The Village People and The Ritchie Family and this is this was one of his last um, uh, productions and so Coco Rico I'm very proud because this is a French um, a Frenchman, Eartha Kitt, live at the plaza. This is a intimate affair. The plaza was 400 seats and this was a place where people went and uh, had supper, had drinks, were seated at tables. That's why the clapping is not what you usually hear when you hear a concert where the people are cheering like crazy. This is, you know, you know, rattling the jewelry, as they say. But nevertheless, it's a very exciting show from the most exciting woman in the world, as uh, Orson Welles um, said when he introduced Eartha Kitt in the 50s. And this also widely contributed to her world success. Now, Eartha Kitt was born in 1927. Um, today, it is said that she was born on January 17th. However, in her autobiography, Thursday's Child, she said at the time that she didn't know exactly when she was born. Um, and uh, she uh, passed away in 2008 on um, December 25th. She has a magnificent daughter called Kit Shapiro. I know we all wish her last name was Kit so that we could say her name is Kit Kit, but it isn't. And uh, she's a, a marvelous, a beautiful, she's so beautiful, um, uh, and a marvelous um, a woman. And it, I adore her because she really pushes forward the legacy of her mom. She has YouTube channels. She was a producer on some of uh, Eartha Kitt's latest albums and concerts. And of course, she adores her mothers and she has um, some of her uh, famous words because Eartha Kitt is a philosopher. Uh, this woman was an advocate for many, many things. She um, paid a very, very hefty price in 1968, only three years after this, by um, standing up against the Vietnam War and at the White House and the newspapers called out that Eartha Kitt, mean Eartha Kitt, makes Lady Bird Johnson cry. And um, then um, Lyndon Johnson had her blacklisted, the FBI, the CIA had um, uh, files on her and uh, she was completely uh, cut out of show business for 10 years. She had to leave America. She came to Paris and then she worked all over Europe because here we considered her a huge star and we were widely against the Vietnam War so we completely understood what she meant but um, this is the kind of woman that Eartha Kitt was. So in today's world where people are just, you know, offended and unhappy by little things, this woman put, you know, her life and her career at stake, you know, to save wh whatever lives she could. So that's why I admire Eartha Kitt so much. And plus, she's so stunning and so extraordinary. And uh, if you look behind me, I put out some of my Eartha Kitt gowns. Well, you know, Eartha Kitt looking gowns because, um, you know, that she was a, a cat woman, the very first cat woman on television. But she's done so much. But we're here to talk about this album, which begins with an extraordinary song called Sell Me. Now, she arrives, there's very, very little information about this album, but she arrived on stage held by two muscle men who were carrying a carpet which they rolled open and she was at the end of the carpet. She was rolled into the carpet. Is that an entrance or what? And um, she sang Sell Me and right after that into I Want To Be Evil 
prim and proper, the girl who's never been kissed, but tired of being pure and not chaste. I want to be evil. One of her big, big hits um, of the time. Then she sings Warai Warai, which is a song from the Philippines. Now, Eartha Kitt sang and spoke nine languages. She is, let me tell you, a brilliant woman. And um, I saw her in concert in Paris in 1984. And her French is impeccable. She speaks French like I do. I mean, better because she, uh, but absolutely extraordinary. So her Filipino song, and it, there's so much, um, double entendre in her songs because you don't understand the lyrics but she kind of makes you understand what she's talking about uh, she then sings the touch with a beautiful beautiful um zigan violin that plays behind her and she has a french poem she so then sings um in 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 french and um, she speaks in french and it's just absolutely exquisite how could you believe me when i said i loved you when you know I've been a liar all my life. Um, I've had that reputation since I was, the, I was a youth. You must have been insane to think I tell you the truth. How Could You Believe Me, which is a great song. Here you can uh, measure how uh, powerful the orchestra is, even though she is in what we refer to today as a small room. It's not that small of a room, but it's not these huge orchestras that you can have today. As she then sings Jaharabi Ja. Now, this is a song from Pakistan, which is Hindu. And um, you have the drums that uh, play their beat, and she's going into the audience and, and purring along. And then she explains that uh, the song is actually means that um, it, uh, it's an old saying from Pakistan, which is um, if a, a woman is walking with a jug of whiskey on her head, she must always have her husband walking in the back to catch the spillings. Um, and she ends up by saying it's a Hindu sense of humor. And she's just absolutely, absolutely exquisite and charming. And um, you can understand what people say when they, when she is known as the most exciting woman in the world. I mean, she is sexiness in high heels. Uh, My Champagne Taste, another song written for her, written by Saxon, who is the conductor of um, the orchestra. And um, this is a, a the one of the first rap songs because it's not sung, it's all said. Uh, you want to take me cruising on an ocean liner to places I long to see? Well, with my champagne taste and your beer bottle pocket, don't forget to write me when you get there in your rowboat when you've pedaled across the sea without me. So it's all about this man with beer bottle pocket while she has champagne taste and um you said you'd give me anything to make my life a feast and you didn't give me anything not even arpege you beast arpege being a french perfume from lanvin so another extraordinary eartha kit styling song uh, poem if you will because it's not sung she then sings Come on to my house, my house of come on, famous, made famous by Rosemary Clooney. The only thing is that she sings it in Japanese. So as she says at the end of the song, I'm so glad you understand Japanese. One of her biggest, biggest hits at the time, old fashioned girl. I, I'm just an old fashioned girl with an old fashioned mind, not sophisticated. I'm the sweet of, and simple kind. And of course, she wants an old fashioned house with an old fashioned fence and an old fashioned billionaire. Don't we all? Um, Ceci Bon, another one of her huge hits. It is an, a very old French song. It's been sung by so many so many people, but Eartha Kitt cuts the song in the middle and goes into the audience and then asks if any of the men, you know, have money, if they speak French or English or Spanish. And she says, it's no big deal because you can meet me in my dressing room after the show, as long as you bring your checkbook. Um, this uh, incredible um, 
persona that Eartha Kitt has created uh, where she's only attracted by furs and diamonds and billions and she is exactly the opposite. She had her house in the United States where she um, had a, a, a patch where she would grow her tomatoes and vegetables and uh, her hands in the dirt and um, uh, somebody that I knew uh, told me that when she sang in um, New York, she would arrive and uh, she would knit until it was time for her to go on stage. And once she was dressed up in one of her gowns and did her eye makeup, she looked uh, absolutely amazing. But when she arrived, she was just you know, a very uh, uh, subdued. And um, she once said to uh, somebody that I knew, um, don't worry when it, you know, when uh, it's 10 o'clock, I will be Eartha Kitt. Uh, until then, I'm just a New York bag lady. How extraordinary. It's everything I love about these women because um, they are stars inside and so they don't have to prove anything they can be you know just very simple and um and enjoy simple things but once they're on stage they are th these superstars she ends the song this is her encore with one of her yiddish songs and she does say i don't have very much voice left but i will make it an, an attempt and what an attempt it is she sings romania um uh, it, it is a very old yiddish song i made some people uh that i know um uh, listen to that song and they cried when they finished uh, listening, you know, because the, the, the way she sings Yiddish is just perfection. And um, I love when she says in the middle of the song is that uh, Romanische Wein, that is nicht Romanische Wein, that is the Champagne kind, Ay, that's the expensive kind. And um, she is the expensive kind, she's the real deal. Our th um, Diana Ross uh, adored Eartha Kitt and um, she actually sang like Eartha Kitt when she began her career and um, no wonder I adore Eartha Kitt and uh, I hope you adore her too and you listen to this album in particular from 1965 the year I was born so it's only about what 25 years old and um, I'll see you next week for another one of my favorite live albums. And thank you for your love and thank you for your messages. And thank you, Chris Johnson. I wanted to shout you out because you have the sweetest messages and um, and um, you, you really inspire me to continue doing uh, these videos. See you next week. Bye bye.